Oh, I see you. You like them thick girls, huh? You don't gotta lie to me, man. I understand. You trying to get the booty, and I am all about it. Booty, booty, booty. More booty for everyone. If I was a king, I wouldn't be handing out bread. I wouldn't be handing out gold. I'd be handing out more booty. I think the people would love me. I'd have the highest approval rating in the entire realm. But today, we're not just talking about booty. We're talking about one booty in particular, Ash, the brand new front line to jump into the realm. She's coming out real soon, and I want to talk about five reasons you should be maining this champion. Now, I'm not saying all the Sky mains out there don't have a responsibility to main Sky. If you guys don't main Sky and frag out, then who in the patch notes will complain about Sky being too good? I mean, no one will play her, no one will be that good with her, and then everyone will have nothing to say. I mean, nerf Sky is a part of our culture. You guys make that happen. So, Sky mains, keep doing what you're doing. But for all you other Ningam poops, let's get started as to why you should be taking a look at this brand new frontline if you want to get into the real action in Paladins. Number one, being able to main a chick like Ash right when she comes out is a beautiful thing. Frontline champions in their history have always had a concurrent relationship with first pick in the esports and that is a big deal it means that the pros invest in them it means you see them more and more it means more strategies more builds more information on how to dominate with this champion permeates throughout every level of play in paladins having your main get a lot of attention in that way can be really helpful for you growing as a player there's more videos about her in the youtube communities there are more twitch streams where people are playing her it's a lot better than having a champion that kind of falls under the wayside and i really do believe that Ash is going to continue in that line. Pros are also notorious for being relatively stingy with first picks and changing them, kind of sticking to what's been known rather than trying new things, but there are always those teams that innovate. There's always uh, certain champions that get everyone on their train earlier, on the on the Ash hype train, so to speak, and I think that may be the case for this one. There's no way to tell until we get to the weekend, but it's a good chance to help you get more information and just have more of a culture that understands what to do with this champion so you have more access to that info that can help you play better. I mean, how many professionals do you consistently see streaming Grover or Sky and giving you pro tips on how to be excellent with those champions? It just it just doesn't happen because they're not part of the meta at all, really, and only show up in very, very occasional situations. Uh, not to hate on Sky Maze, though. I feel like I am hating too much on Sky Maze right now. Shout out to Captain Feral Knights, who's like every single patch notes, you know, when's the, when's the vertical mobility? When's the vertical mobility coming? So to recap, it's just a good time. As you learn to main Ash, you're gonna get a lot of other perspectives on what you should be doing with Ash from a higher level, and that's gonna help you along your way. Time for a number two, if you know what I'm saying. Honestly, we just need more frontline mains. I'm tired of playing games where I wanna just play Play something other than a front line yet have to sacrifice my team not having a front line if I want to do it there's always a resistance to being the tank always a resistance to being a support if you find an actual tank that you like playing that's dope to play like ash then it's a win-win for everyone personally I actually really want to play a lot of ash she's very fun she's visceral she's a damage oriented tank they can do a lot. We'll talk about some of those other factors because that's one of the reasons I think she's a great champion to master and to main right now. But the fact is, if we have more people who are willing to play any role because they relate to a champion in that role and can have fun, even if they're forced to pick up the frontline slot, I mean, that just makes for better games. It makes for a better appearance. It makes for more balance uh, and team compositions. It overall, I think, just helps Paladins and your own player experience overall. You could do it for yourself. You could do it for the people. You could do it for the realm. I don't care who you do it for. Just do it. Maining a frontline is a great thing for the game, and Ash is a perfect one to start with. It'll also make you a more well-rounded and better player overall if you're able to switch roles. It's one of the things I talk about frequently in my How to Be a Better Paladins player series, where if you're able to have a champion that you could master in each role, you're just that much more of an asset to your team. I mean, imagine at work, if you not only did your job, but you could do five five other people's jobs. I mean, how important would you be to keep at the company? Say somebody's sick and they still need something to go on. I mean, you're the guy that can do it. You're worth instantly so much more uh, and valued whenever you step into the realm. Now, I, I know, know it's that number three. three. Displacement, displacement, displacement. I said it three times because it's three times as important as almost anything else your character can bring. And Ash brings so much of it. Displacement is the ability to move someone out of a position. Now, Makoa, because of his hook, has notoriously been impactful in every single aspect of Paladin's esports since his recent nerf. Being able to relocate an enemy into a place that's advantageous 
advantageous for your teammates and disadvantageous for that enemy is an immediate game changer. It can change the tides of fights. It can change the tides of games single-handedly. Now, also an interesting fact is that displacement usually increases in value the more skillful a player is because the higher chance that player has of using the displacement correctly. As a newer player, your chances of displacing the correct opponent at the right time are significantly lower than a player who understands the timing of a team fight, understands the importance of each role and each champion specifically to that team fight, and the overall dynamic of what's happening with their team. A hook can save your teammate's life at the right time, and it can also end the life of an opponent's carry, or an opponent's tank, or whatever is most crucial to making sure that your team has the advantage in the upcoming seconds. Ash has this same capability with two strong, unique abilities in her shoulder bash and her kinetic burst. In Nara's wall, Torvald's hyper beam, both of these things can create space to provide your teammates with windows to secure objectives, to push payloads to completion, or to just push them into hazard zones and have them go back to base after falling into the water. It can also just be confusing and annoying, right? If you're getting juggled in the air multiple times or getting hooked by a Makoa every single moment you step into range or Torvald keeps silencing you or hyper beaming you or, you know, Anara keeps walling you off to your death. I mean, all these things are kind of annoying, right? They take away the control that you usually have to navigate space, and that can not only get into the headspace of the enemies you're playing against, but just create this really good feeling of helplessness on the enemy team when they're going against you. At the end of the day, I know you. You don't want to have your fate controlled by somebody else who could be thousands of miles away and having a bad game. You want to have the tools at your disposal to wreak havoc, and that's what Ash brings to the table. You're always going to have the option to swing the tide of your fight if you play Ash to her highest capabilities, and that is why you should be mating this champion. Is it like number four already? Oh my god. One of the most important reasons you have to main Ash is because she's just got awesome puns that go with her name. I mean, your pun game is going to get a lot stronger if you main this champion, seriously. Bad Ash, gimme dat Ash. I mean, you gotta yell gimme that Ash after you get a kill with Ash. I mean, that's like the coolest thing ever. You know, it goes together. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It's like Superman and the S on his chest. I mean, what would happen if you took the S off of Superman's chest? Yes, I mean, I guess he'd still actually just be Superman. He just wouldn't have an S on his chest. Never mind. That's not the point. I mean, it was pun at first sight, guys. Y you want me to stop? Really? All right, Ash, and you shall receive. Seriously, though, what would Ash wear at a fancy ball? A top hat and an Ashcot. Get it? Because, <laughs> you know, there's it's an a Ascot. It's, it's top hat and it's Ascot. It's, it's a fancy outfit for a guy which doesn't make sense but you get it there's a lot of puns to be made people okay that's number four call me pun day gaming just deal with it number five amigo the fifth reason you should main ash is because she's going to be a marquee champion now marquee just means kind of like a figurehead think of Bologna for smite when you think of smite there are a few gods that come to mind you probably think of zeus maybe you think of hades poseidon but you definitely think of Bologna, maybe Thor in there as well. Bologna to me is what Ash is to Paladins. Not only are their archetypes similar for like badass female champions, but I really do believe that she's going to be a champion when you look at Paladins as a whole, is going to be that, that one in the poster in the front, right? She's going to be getting cool skins, the fans are going to love her, uh, she's going to get a lot of treatment, and I think that's always a cool thing to have for your main. I mean, this is your main, people. We're talking skins, we're talking voice packs, we're talking weapons, we're talking and all the good stuff if you have a character that's super popular and super out there they're gonna have to make sure that they give her some love so you're never gonna be crying for hey where's my last ash thing like she hasn't been touched she hasn't been uh, you know buffed or she hasn't gotten to skin i can't believe it oh my god you guys are ignoring my favorite champion this isn't fair i swear pip gets every single skin off oh. y'all may think i'm over exaggerating but that really happens like every patch note somebody is like really you ignore ignored it. Uh, when you get a marquee champion, something that could be just uh, a figurehead for the game, like I think Ash can be for Paladins, maining them is a great idea because they're going to get the attention that you want your main, your favorite champion, the one you put all that time in to get. Overall, I think this is a great reason to main Ash, and I think all the other reasons I mentioned are great reasons to main her as well. She's the brand new champion coming out in Paladins, and though I usually want to say it's great to main a lot of different champions and have a variety, if you're going to pick one, this badass 
Ash chick is a good one to start with. So let me know down below if you're going to start meeting Ash and if you agree with the reasons I mentioned as to why you should. Also feel free to let me know if you're maining somebody else and why. I find that stuff pretty interesting so feel free to hit me up in the comment section guys. Also everybody who's made it this far thank you. I've been doing a lot of different content trying to test what the community really wants to see from me, what my own community is really interested in watching and you guys have been absolutely phenomenal in turning out here on the Paladin side of things so thank you so much. I'm going to continue to do interesting videos and try and mix it up engage interest so please let me know if you did like this if you like this style of video and if you want to see more in that vein and what else you want to see if it's something different and I know you guys absolutely loved the skin community video so we're going to do another one of those at some point very soon and I'm also going to get another five tricks on how to be a better support frontline or damage dealer and uh, how to really up your game there like I did for the flankers earlier so all that good stuff coming out here on rain day gaming leave a like if you want to stay tuned subscribe is the best way to do it and also hit the notification bell to be notified when these videos go live follow me on twitter snapchat and all the good stuff in the description below and as always remember to never give up and never stop gaming and i'll see you all next time